Five times prison escapees were caught on camera convicts serve their sentence for the crimes they commit by being incarcerated. We would like to think that prisons are sufficiently guarded and secure enough to make it impossible for prisoners to ever escape. And most of the time they are, but other times, inmates find unbelievable ways to make a break for freedom. In extreme cases, prisoners have escaped on multiple occasions. Here are 10 of the best escape artists the prison system has ever seen. Pascal Payet Pascal Payet, a French criminal convicted of murder, was well known for escaping prison Hollywood style, using a helicopter. In 2001, Payet escaped for the first time when he arranged for a helicopter to land on the prison roof and lift him to freedom. Two years later, while still on the run, he flew a hijacked chopper back to the prison to break out three of his friends. All four were captured three weeks later, Payet was placed in solitary confinement and was shuffled from prison to prison to make planning an escape difficult, but despite this, he pulled off yet another daring jailbreak in 2007. This time, he used outside connections to hijack a helicopter, which was then redirected to a state penitentiary. Three men attacked the facility and escaped with Payet. However, he was caught three months later in Spain and has remained in custody ever since. Willie Sutton Willie Sutton, also known as The Actor and Slick Willie, was considered one of the most notorious bank robbers in history. He committed his brazen crimes in broad daylight by impersonating a policeman, messenger, postal officer, maintenance man, etc. In 1931, Sutton was sentenced to 30 years in prison for assault and robbery. However, he escaped in 1932 by scaling the prison wall on two ladders. He spent two years on the run before being recaptured and sentenced to 25 to 50 years for a bank robbery. Again he escaped, this time through a tunnel, he was caught the same day. Sutton was transferred to another facility and given life imprisonment as a fourth-time offender. In 1947, he escaped by dressing as a guard and became one of FBI's most wanted fugitives. He was arrested in 1952, sentenced to life imprisonment and an additional 105 years. However, he was released in 1969 due to ill health. He died 11 years later at the age of 79.